you notice um, the process of spreading John and Bob's is a little bit messy, so you might want to wear a glove. It puts uh, black uh, organic compounds all over your hand, which those organic compounds aren't dangerous in any way. Actually, I think they're good for me, but uh, they don't look too good. Um, so um, we're done with the dry product, and now we're going to spray the penetrate, which the inclination might be to spread to spray the penetrate first, and that is possible, particularly if you're trying to make the soil softer so that you can work in it. That is a legitimate thing to do, to spray penetrate first, let it work for a day or two, and then do your digging, and it does impact diggability of soil. If you did that, we would prefer that you also sp spray the penetrate last because the long-term effects of bacteria require that they get uh, not, not only that initial inoculation, but that they get established. And they'll get established better if we're not in the soil digging and messing up the bacteria that we just applied. So we like to do that. One of the last things is we'll apply the penetrate right over the top of everything. Penetrate is two uh, different um, bottles. One has bacteria, many strains of beneficial bacteria, and the other has food for the bacteria. And the food is kelp and saponin and humic acid. And we keep them separate because we don't want the bacteria to eat the food um, in a container. We want that, that to happen in the soil and then kind of magic follows after that. If the, uh, if the uh, bacteria starts eating the food in the soil and doing what bacteria does, then higher life forms eat the bacteria and uh, bacteria collects mineral nutrients for higher life forms and so it starts this process of building complex life in the soil and that's what John and Bob's line of products is all about. That's what we were trying to do, is build complex microbiological life in the soil. So uh, I use a backpack sprayer. You can use any kind of sprayer. You could even use a bucket if you're just going to dump it into a hole or dump it into a concentrated spot. So this is the bacteria. So we'll just put the bacteria uh, in this case, I'm going to use the whole thing. This is our larger uh, container, and it treats uh, 4,000 square feet. And then uh, the food for the bacteria. And we'll put them together. And then uh, we'll fill it with water. Okay, so in the case of uh, the 32 ounces, it says on there that for 32 ounces you, you mix it in four gallons of water and cover uh, 4,000 square feet. But you could mix it in less water or more water. You could mix it in 10 gallons of water if you want. Um, we don't care how much water you use. We just want that amount of product to treat that much amount of surface area. So as long as we get these two 32 ounce bottles over 4,000 square feet or less, that's great. And if you do it over 1,000 square feet, that doesn't, there's no chance of burning anything or damaging anything in any way. The more you use, the better really, except that we're trying to give you rates where you get the most for your money. So, um, so this is uh, calculated to treat 4,000 square feet. Um, we mixed uh, some water in there and then we will, um, uh, spray it over. Uh, it's great for leaves and plants. It's actually excellent fertilizer also, but we're marketing it more as a product to change the soil. And so we're going to concentrate on the soil, but we'll spray it on the plants too. We'll spray it over the top of the turf. Um, you could spray it right underneath the turf before you lay it. That's excellent also. You might start to get the idea that there's nothing real delicate or precise about the process of applying these products and that's what makes them so good for uh, home gardeners is that really in almost any way you apply them they're going to work. There's ways that we would prefer you apply it and, and that's what I'm attempting to uh, talk about right now. Okay so I'm spraying the uh, penetrate out of my backpack sprayer and it's not um, a real um, soak soaking that we're providing the soil. We're just kind of going over everything once. It's a very light application and we get it, as I said, we get it on the plants and that's good for plants. And um, you know, we can go back over a second time if we don't use it all. We know about how much, uh, we, we know exactly how much is in our backpack so we know how many 
what kind of area we have to cover. So we just go over it until we cover it. Now one thing that I found with a backpack sprayer is if you just use the regular nozzle, it really uh, applies it at too slow a rate where it takes a long time to get it all into the area that you need. And since we don't really need an even application, we're just trying to get the product generally in the soil. Um, one thing that I do uh, frequently is I'll take the uh, nozzle off and just um, apply it more in a stream and just kind of wave that nozzle around and uh, that uh, makes it go a lot faster and is plenty precise. Uh, we don't need to be precise about it and then that gets us the penetrate everywhere that we want to get it. Uh, if you use a hose-in sprayer, one of the problems that people frequently complain about to me is that they run out of product uh, and they're not done with the area because the hose-in sprayer, either the, um, the calibration is off or um, something, something goes wrong in the calculation. So if you're using a hose-in sprayer, you might start at a rate that you think is too low and just go over and over to make sure you have enough and it'll, uh, it'll get you everywhere.